Look at me. I'm little short. I'm sexy the vampire. Right. Okay. Someone, one of my friends, sent me a video. It's Dan Fangos saying, uh, squeal, squeal over Twilight and the American's version of Harry Potter. It's failing, failing. I'm going to stop on the argument there because it's a one sided thing because I win. Screw you. Twilight is not a good book, not a good film. Why the obsession? Let the right one in. Swedish book, far superior, far better film, yet not none of the mainstream advertising like Twilight has, which is written by a Mormon idiot who Stephen King has slated as well. And yeah, he knows one thing or two about damn you know, writing. I just, I mean, I'm on YouTube and there's videos of, you know, spoiler, videos of Claudia from Interview with a Vampire, written by Anne Rice, who might I add, some Twilight fans don't know who she is, written by her. There's a part where she, you know, obviously burns to death with the newly turned woman helper, whatever, in the tower. There's comments from Twilight fans going, well, I thought a vampire sparkled in the sun, not burned alive. Read your damn history. Even in you know, world mythology, they burned alive in the damn daylight. They never sparkled. Sparkled. We trying to make them gay now? What? I mean, I know vampires been sexified, but they aren't like uh, they're not going to be gay. What's wrong with that? What the hell is wrong with you? It's, I mean, look at this girl for example. Let's insert some kind of crappy whiny girl. The beach. The track. It's my birthday. Let's see how she's doing now. And now... <gasps> she's still at it. I really should put my watch on today. She's taking some time, isn't she? I guess. Squeeze! Mind your ears, because it makes no sense. There's websites dedicated to the injuries provide, you know, made by the damn fangirls on other people. What is wrong with them? I don't like Twilight, but die! Why would you attack someone for not liking a crappy book and film? Is it you who should be attacked? Hung up, drawn and quartered, whatever. It's going to be a very edited video. <laughs> Generally don't like the film. I watched it. I watched the first one. It's depressing for two hours. It's dusk for two hours. I mean, is that actually a part of America that depressing all the time? If seriously, if that's the case, whoa, I ain't going to America. I mean, I know some places that are like, you know, dark for half the year and light for the rest, but is it depressing all the time time? <sighs> yeah, I watched the, the second trailer and I quite like werewolves as quite a lot of people know but that is not a wolf in the video, it's a fox it's a fox, a wolf is my favourite animal That does anyone else notice that the transition into wolf is very similar to chocolate and blood or blood and chocolate. Blood and chocolate, I forget. That wasn't overly great either, so I'm not gonna remember it, am I? Um I think that just about covers it. The general is crap, it's rubbish and girls are weird for liking it. It's like it's like the uh the fangos, the Beatles, good band, but what was with the creepiness? Oh my god, he's gonna marry me. No he's not. And uh, notice how no one liked Bob Patterson when he was, uh, what's his name in Harry Potter? The guy who died, I forget his bloody name. But, oh no, he's died. Once, he's, once he becomes Edward, everyone's like, oh, I love him. He's my boyfriend. I'm going to marry him. What is wrong with you? A lot. So, in my top ten list of things I hate, I'm going to put you up quite high. Uh, because you're just mentally insane. And how do you rationalise the irrational? 
but you can't. Um, I'm just going to have to wait for you all to grow up and realise what the hell you've done wrong. Uh, provided you grow up. Yeah. Uh, so, feel free to comment, say what you like. It's You can say I'm funny, say you disagree with me. I don't give a crap because this is what I think. Now go fuck yourself if you like that film.